Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn about bubble sort, its complete logic, and how to program and implement it in real time. Let us take a look at the agenda for today's discussion. And meanwhile, be kind enough to get subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. First, we will begin with understanding what is bubble sort algorithm. Next, we will understand the working procedure of bubble sort algorithm. After that, we will understand the pseudocode of bubble sort algorithm. Later, we will learn the optimized bubble sort algorithm. And next, we will see some varieties of bubble sort algorithms. After that, we will understand the complexities of the bubble sort algorithm. And finally, we can wind up the session with application of bubble sort algorithm. I hope the agenda was clear. Hoping we are good to go. Let's get started with our first topic. Let's try to understand what is a bubble sort algorithm. The bubble sort algorithm is one of the fundamental and simplest forms of algorithm used to sort a collection of elements. The collection of elements can be either a set of numbers or characters. The control iterates through a sequence of numeric or character type elements in the bubble sort algorithm and rearranges them into ascending or descending order. The bubble sort algorithm rearranges one element at a time. The bubble sort algorithm is also known as the sinking algorithm. Here we have some random distributed elements which are 30, 10, 20, 50 and 40. And after performing the bubble sort algorithm, all the elements are sorted as 10, 20, 40 and 50. So, how is it done? We will see in the next segment where we will understand the working terminologies of bubble sort algorithm. The bubble sort algorithm will not get implemented on the entire array in one go. Instead, it compares two adjacent pairs of elements in an array. If the elements are not in the correct order, then they are swapped so the largest of the two moves towards the right. And this process continues until the most significant element or bubble is moved towards the highest position. After the first process is finished, the search for the next most significant object starts. And the swapping continues until the whole array is in correct order. This process is employed when you want to arrange the elements in ascending order. To understand the logic in a better way, let's go through an example. The example on my screen consists of five elements. According to the bubble sort algorithm logic, we need four iterations to sort all the elements in the ascending order or in descending order. The elements in the array are as follows. They are 3, 8, 4, 2 and 12. So, in this array, the index begins with 0 and ends with 4. And each time, the bubble sort algorithm goes through the data element list and it is known as a pass. Let us analyze the total number of comparisons required to sort the array in the correct order. According to the formula, if n is the total number of elements in an array, then the total number of comparisons needed to sort the entire array can be calculated by a simple formula shown on my screen. That is, n is equals to n minus 1. So, in this scenario, we need 5 minus 1, that is, 4 comparisons or passes, to sort the entire array. In the first pass, there are four steps. Let us select the first two elements, that is 3 and 8. According to the requirement, we need to sort this array in the ascending order. Hence, when we compare 3 and 8, clearly we get 3 as the least number. So, we do not need to swap them. Next is the step 2. Comparing the second and third elements, which are 8 and 4. Here, we need to swap these two elements because 8 is always greater than 4 and it requires placing the elements in the ascending order. Now, moving ahead, we have step 3. Moving on to the third and fourth elements, which are 8 and 2. And here, again, we need to swap 8 with 2 because 8 is greater than 2. And in the step 4, we have, we have the last elements, which are 8 and 12. There is no need to swap because 8 is already less than 12, so you can see it clearly. So now we enter into pass 2 and in pass 2, we need 3 steps. So the first step, in the second pass, 
let us select the first two elements which are 3 and 4. No swapping is necessary as they are already in order. Next we have step 2. In step 2, we need to select the elements 2 and 4. As you can see, 2 is always less than 4, so there is no swapping required. Next we have step 3. In step 3, we need to compare the elements 4 and 8. And here, we may not need any switching because 4 is already less than 8. Now here you can see that we are not comparing 8 and 12 because the last element is already sorted. Now, we have come to the last pass. And here, there is only one step. The step is to compare the first two elements, 2 and 3, and then swap them as 3 is greater than 2. Now, the array is finally sorted and we do not need to do any more comparisons. After understanding the working process of the bubble sort algorithm, we will see its pseudocode. In the pseudocode, there is a function named as bubble sort. The bubble sort function includes an array of collections of sortable elements. Let us consider n as the length of the array. After that, we have to repeat comparisons for the first element to the last element of the array. If the first element is greater than its next consecutive element, then we must swap both the elements and place them correctly. We do not need to switch after closing this repeated statement and getting out of the loop. This bubble sort function will end. After understanding the pseudocode of the bubble sort algorithm, let's learn about the optimized bubble sort algorithm. So we can optimize the algorithms in a loop by programming it to avoid the comparison at n-1 position after every iteration, since the nth element is already sorted in the previous iteration. More generally, more than one element may be placed in their final position on a single pass. All the elements after the last swap are sorted in every pass and do not need to be rechecked. Optimized bubble sort algorithm allows skipping over many elements. This results in a worst case, that is 50% improvement in comparison count and adds little complexity because of the new code subsums the swapped variable. Next, we will learn variations of the bubble sort algorithm. So, there are two variations of the bubble sort algorithm. They are odd even sort and cocktail shaker. So, odd even sort is a parallel version of bubble sort for the message passing system. Whereas, cocktail shaker is a sort of bidirectional bubble sort that first goes from beginning to the end and ends to the beginning. After knowing the variation of the bubble sort algorithm, now we will see the complexity of bubble sort algorithm. So the best case of the bubble sort algorithm is big O of n, where n is the number of elements being sorted and worst and average cases of the bubble sort algorithm are big O of n into n and lastly, the space complexity of the bubble sort algorithm is big of 1. Here, n is the number of data elements being sorted. Let us understand, when this complexity occurs, the best case of bubble sort algorithm is O of n, which occurs at all the data elements in an array are already sorted. Here, we have an example with some data elements in an array, which are already sorted, that is 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Next, talking about the average and worst case, the worst case and average case of the bubble sort algorithm is O of n to the power 2, that is n squared or n into n. It occurs when all the data elements in an array are reversely sorted. Again, we have an example that consists of data elements that are reversely sorted, that are 50, 40, 30, 20 and 10 in an array. Lastly, we have space complexity. The space complexity of bubble sort algorithm is O of 1 because only one additional variable is required to implement bubble sort algorithm, that is, temporary variable. We came to the last topic where we will understand four main applications of bubble sort algorithm. First application of bubble sort algorithm states that this sorting technique is used to sort the elements in a specific order. The bubble sort algorithm uses less storage and is the second application of bubble sort algorithm. Third, the real-life application states that the bubble sort algorithm is used to start the students based on their height in a line. Lastly, bubble sort is used to create a stack, pile up the elements based on their height. After covering all the bubble sort algorithm topics, we will now see a practical demonstration of 
bubble sort algorithm. Now, on my screen, we have an example for bubble sort algorithm. So, let us get started with the code. In this code, at the first position, we have some header files that is standard input, output, standard library, etc. After that, we will define the main function. In the main function, we will declare an array with maximum size of 50. So here, you can see that we have the first array variable that size is 50. Size will be defined with declaration only because we cannot change the array size in the runtime. After that, we will declare four variables that is a, b, num and temp. Num variable will store the number of elements of an array. After that, we will ask the user how many elements are required for the array using printf function. So here is the printf function where we will be asking the user to enter the number of elements in an array. And the user will enter the elements and this will be done using scanf function. Then finally, we will print all the elements that the user wants to store in an array using another printf function. We will have three loops. Firstly, there will be a loop from the first element to the last element of the array. So this is the first for loop we need. Then second, the for loop will use the variable a for the rotation purpose as we know rotation equal to number of elements minus 1. So it will make a loop from index 0 to number minus 1. The last loop is used for how many passes will be required for the implementation and we already pass equally to the number of elements minus number of rotations minus 1. So there is the loop from index 0 to number minus a minus 1. Then there will be the if condition stating that if the first element of an array at index b is greater than the element at the index b plus 1, then we will make swap. Then we will come out of the loop and we will print all the array elements after performing the bubble sort algorithm. Now, let's quickly execute this program and see the output. So you can see the program got successfully executed. Now, let us enter the number of elements. Let me choose 5. Now, let us enter the elements in a random order. So, this was the array input 3, 2, 4, 1 and 5. And here, after executing the bubble sort algorithm, we have the sorted array that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And with that, we have come to an end of this tutorial. Hope the video was helpful and informative. If you have any queries regarding this video, please feel free to let us know in the comment sections below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your questions. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.